Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some The Last Flame, shall we? This is a uh, strategic auto-battler, and it is available for checking out on Steam and for wishlisting. I'm going to put a link in the description below if you like what you see and you want to check the game out on Steam. And I'm going to be playing it now for the very first time to see what it's all about. So I'm going to do Ascension Mode, and let's see. So I could go on Novice Difficulty, which is all I'm able to do as it's the tutorial, which is good. I'm not typically great at auto battlers. It's a genre that I've only dabbled in at the very briefest, and I need to understand it more. So a tutorial will be very helpful. In this tutorial, you will receive a few objectives to complete, which will explain the basics of The Last Flame. You can accomplish them in any order. Don't feel rushed to do them as soon as they appear. At all times, you can press tab or click on the book at the bottom right corner to open the guidebook. You can also click on an objective to open the guidebook at the corresponding tip. Got it. All right. So uh, here's the heroes, and you can see their health and their mana in the upper left. Here's their active ability uh, to the right, and then the passive ability is to the left. Heroes start with a passive and an active ability and unique stats. Every attack generates one mana. Mana regen generates mana passively over time. Heroes cast their active ability when their mana bar is full. Okay. Um, the hero panel, you can view all your current heroes in the hero panel. Keybind H or click on this icon at the bottom right corner. Um, you can hover over any tooltip. You can press tab or middle mouse. To display an advanced tooltip, it'll search for all relevant keywords in the glossary and display them. That's handy. Okay, so um, we have to pick two of these heroes that we want. And, um, well, you know, they look awesome. So, of these choices, I mean, uh, this guy has Thunderstorm and Spell Shield. Uh, so, I mean, I just like the look of him, so I'm going to take Zog. And then, look at this guy. What's he all about? Lightning Explosion and Healing Shield. Now, I don't know if I want two Lightning Abilities. Uh, so, I definitely want a tank, though. This guy has Leech Life and Summon Water Elemental. Uh, that seems good. Okay, good. We're buddies. And we need to pick a Relic. So, 30% uh, discount on everything at the shop. Elites lose 18%. Hit points when the fight starts. You can research at the campfire or the juicy mango. Wow. Um, these are all amazing, but uh, I like the genie lamp just because I don't know how often I'm going to be shopping, but whenever you can get something like this early in the, the run, it can mean a lot. So um, we're going to press space. Oh, okay. Um, so this is kind of like an auto battler roguelike. Sort of, uh, you see like a Slay the Spire, Darkest Dungeon 2 style map here. Um, okay. So, what do I want? Well, I definitely want to shop because I have the 30% discount. And uh, I don't know what a star means. I don't know how much different that is than an elite. I'm going to take this path and try to go here through this elite and this star, this shop, and then maybe get the campfire if we need it or go for another shop. So I'm going to just start right here. Okay, preparation phase. You can drag your heroes to place them on other hexes. The last hero to be dropped from an enemy will redirect the enemy's focus to this hero. Oh, wow. Okay, um, so you want to put your tank last. This is useful to choose which is getting targeted. Yes, it is. You can have up to five heroes on the battlefield during the preparation phase. You could swap your current heroes with heroes on the bench. Right-click on the hero to open their panel. This is especially important to learn their abilities. Okay. So, there's only, um, right now, this giant bug. And uh, I push tab. Uh, oh, let me get to that in a moment. So, this guy has 600 hit points, 6 mana. And he has Bug Juice, Increase All Enemies Attack. Okay, so I don't know if that applies to him, but he doesn't have any allies to buff up with that. 
So I'm going to drop this guy in first, uh, and you can see maybe his attack range. Um, let's see, so... Alright, so we'll drop this guy in first. Um, oh wait. Oh, oh, maybe I can't drop him in that close. Maybe this is the thing. Okay, so I'm going to do it like this. Okay, so this guy should come down and try to hit my elemental. And then... Um, it says combat. Heroes do not die permanently. They revive after each fight. Okay. Hero deaths make you lose flame. Oh, so it is... I mean, like, it kind of reminds you of the hope in Darkest Dungeon 2. If you lose a fight, uh, your run is not lost, but you get less rewards and no bonus rewards. For instance, an elite fight that usually rewards an extra hero and relic won't be granting those. Right. Bosses make you lose increasing flame for each death. Okay, so you can, like, retry the boss... Enemies get stronger from ranks and power level. Uh, so you could see the stars. Enemies will have higher rank as you progress through the run. The rank is shown as a numerical value. Okay, you could see it right there as like a number one. And then power levels go from zero to four. Ranks and power level increase the enemy's hit points, attack damage, and spell damage. Okay. Enemies have timers. Enrage timer. Um... Okay, and that doesn't sound good. All right, let's go. Um, I'm just going to click on this to start. So here we go. They're fighting. The tank is doing its thing exactly as I want. And looks like we summoned some water elementals and we wrecked it. So that was not bad. And um, I can't tell. I think this over here is like a DPS meter, maybe. So like this guy did... 56 physical damage and uh, some spell damage as well. And then this guy just did physical damage. Uh, we're going to click on this. And we can either get 108 gold and three of these uh, trophies. And it's used to rank up your heroes. So one of these gives you five experience, which you can use to rank up hero. Or we can get another hero. I mean, I kind of want another hero. And... Um, so, this is a ranged type, this is a melee type, and another melee type. Uh, what does this guy do? He heals himself, physical damage dealer, flip strike. So this guy kind of seems like a melee, but also uh, a DPS. So I'm going to pick this guy. Oh, oh, you get all of these rewards. Um... Or you get some of them. Okay, I'll take the money. Oh, you get them all. Oh my god, that's great. Okay, pick an item. Um, so I don't know if this is for everybody or just one of my people. Uh, I'm going to get this book of mana. Oh, you get more. Oh, wow. Um, and... I'm going to get this... For, ah, the, the spell power I don't really need on my big boy, I don't think. So I'll get this bow. Okay, so, um, now, let me look at this guy. Okay, so I'm going to give this guy this bow. And then this guy gets this book. Sweet. Okay, great. So now he has um, four mana regen, which you can see here. And then this dude has uh, extra attack and speed. Great. Oh, let's see the recap, actually. Yes. Okay, so this gives you a better breakdown of... I like this when you can see, like, what your people are doing or your heroes, like, just to get a sense of how much, you know. And this guy took 162 damage, um, but he's doing fine. So we'll close it, and we're going to proceed. All right, so we need to go... Let's just go here. Okay. Okay. And now, uh, looks like there's a bad boy here and here. Uh, so this is a abomination. There's two abominations. Okay. Well, so in this situation, um, I'm going to put... Okay, wait. I got to do this in the last order. So we'll put this guy here, this dude up here, and then this guy over here. And... I guess you... 
need multiple tanks if there's multiple targets. All right, so we're going to see what happens. Okay, they wrecked it. Sweet. All right, we did very, very well. This guy actually did the most damage that time. This guy didn't have time to get going, I don't think. And, uh... Looks like he healed himself, okay? So, let's get the money. And now we can rank somebody up. Let's recruit a hero. And... Uh, this dude is melee... He's a tank. So is this guy. Nature Guardians, Molten Shield. This guy, I like Molten Shield because it taunts. So I'm going to choose this dude. Um, we can rank somebody up. We can pick an item. Ooh, these are blue. Okay. Um, so we're going to pick this for our tank. And then I'm going to... Um, uh, forging allows you... Oh, wait. Maybe that w wasn't a blue item, but a, a recipe. Allows you to choose the attributes of your items. You can open the forging window with F or by clicking on the, the forge. Okay. So, let's see. Forge this one. Forge an equipable item by combining a recipe with an heirloom. Um, oh, okay. So, I see. So, I would have to combine it with one of these things. Uh, but I don't want to do that right now. So, I have this. But, I don't want to do that because I don't want to eat up my... I think it eats your item, and I don't want to do that. All right, I'm going to boost up uh, my lightning guy. And there he goes. He's ranked two, and we can... Um, eat every attack helps him generate more mana. Yeah, let's give him more regen, so he's just using his spell, like, all the time. And, uh, this guy, we can give trophies to him. He needs some more, though, to level up. So let's proceed. We're going to go here. And debuffs. Okay. Active and passive abilities and effects can apply debuffs on enemies. Debuffs are displayed above the enemy's health bar. Right. Debuffs in the last flame are quite unique, as they all synergize with specific damage types or stuns rather than dealing damage or having effects on their own. All right, so you could see there's bleed, frost, burn, shock, for example, and then it tells you what they do right here. All right, got it. So these guys, um, they deal spell damage to the target. That's scary. All right, so we got three big boys. So what we need is um, one he here, here, and then put my, oops, uh, put my caster here, and then put the tank up there. And let's go. Alright. So, in that fight, this guy did the most damage, probably because we ranked him up, which is great. Alright, so we got some more trophies, and uh, let's get a hero... Ah, okay, um, this is a hit point tank, caster, so, lightning spear, um, James is a physical damage dealer, he's ranged, this guy's ranged, and then this guy is also ranged, yeah, we need more ranged, um, unleashes a frenzy, frost to all targets, Um, interesting. Oh, I like the idea of a lightning spear. And then we'll pick an item. Now, oh, okay. Uh, hmm. Let's go with this pistol, I guess. Oh, we get two items. All right, so these are not... 
The other ones were green, meaning better. These are just straight worse, I think. Um, although that great axe is actually not bad. I keep wanting to forge the item I got, but instead, you know, like, if I, for example, uh, look at this guy, he has nothing equipped, but I can give him some extra damage. Right there, and then this guy, uh, who's doing the most damage that I have? Well, let's give this guy the pistol, and then I'm going to rank this guy up. There he goes. And now we can pick Bloody Intervention to inflict bleeds. Um, at attacks deal additional ethereal damage equal to all stacks of debuffs or lock and load. Uh, let's go ahead and do the bleed. Alright, and then... Let me just kind of try to pump this guy up. Almost there. Proceed. All right, let's go to the shop. So we're going to shop. And I have um, 920, and I get the discount. So I definitely want to hire um, as many people as I can. Oh, she supports. So she heals. Yeah, we need a healer for sure. Uh, or at least I want one. I think you can have five heroes. And then... These are all items that you need to forge, I think. So what I should do is I should buy some, like, bad stuff. So I can forge up to even better stuff. So, for example, uh, this... I mean, that's good. Wow, these all have, like, a big drawback, or... Some of them do. This is good if you do frost. Uh, I like this runic shield for my tank. I'll buy these two items. Um, skeleton shield is also pretty good. And then... Let me hire, like, another hero, just in case. That novice shield is amazing. Okay. And then I'm going to buy this just to use. All right. Great. So I'm going to go back, and then uh, I'm going to go into uh, the hero panel. And let's see here. Actually, let me go to the forge. So I want to forge this, and we can combine it. Maybe it doesn't consume the heirloom. I'm going to try it and pretend like it doesn't. It 100% does. So now I know. <laughs> okay. Um, Okay, so now um, I'm going to go back out and I'm going to go to my heroes. So she needs... Um, what is the heal based on? Okay, yeah. This gives her a bigger heal. And then my tank, this guy, he's got to have... Um, this to get a bunch of defense, and then this guy, I'm going to give this to, and then this guy, I'm going to give him this. Just make these tanks even stronger. Um, okay. I'm going to return to the game, and then we're going to proceed. Then I'm going to go over here, and items in rank. Click on the trophy to go to trophy mode. Um, you can give him a trophy. Okay. Ranks two and four grant a new passive. All right. You could drive items. Yep, we equipped them. Oh, okay. You can press shift to display their equipment above their health bar. 
And then you can just drag them around. Okay, with control. That's cool. All right, so uh, we're getting into a tougher situation here. Like, this guy has two stars and is rank one. All right, so I have some people on the bench. Uh, let's see. I have one, two, three, four. I can't remember if I can place another one. Let me see. Maybe you can only place four. Yeah, you can only place four. Okay, well, that's fine. So, what we're going to do is... I don't know if I need a healer right now. I'm going to focus on killing... I'm going to move everybody over here to kill this weaker guy first. So, we're going to go here, and we're going to go here. And then I'm going to put this guy over here, this guy over here... And then this guy down here, like that. And let's go. Yeah, he's crushing my uh, tank, but we're in there. Wow, look at the damage numbers. They look sweet, all those crits. Wow, okay, so the tank almost died, so I might want the healer after all. Um, yeah, this guy isn't doing that much. So I might want to swap this guy out. And put in the healer. Okay. Alright. And I'm going to actually just... Uh, well, we do that later, I guess. Okay, we have three trophies. So we can... Just rank that guy up. And... I'm just going to do quick attack so he does more and more damage. He's already just doing the most damage that I've got. Proceed. Okay, so that wasn't even an elite fight. That was just, you know, a regular difficult fight. All right. Uh, so we already read that. Now, uh, reroll an item reward and go to a campfire. I guess I have 90 flames, so I could reroll pretty reasonably. All right, I'm going to put her in instead of this guy. And then there's a bunch of bats all over the battlefield. So thinking about where I'm going to put them. Um, okay, I'm going to keep her in the middle. And then this guy in the middle. And then we're going to drop this dude here. Uh, yep. Then this guy here. And then this guy can go here. So let's see what happens if we do it like this. So she is healing everybody. The heal helped out huge right there. I mean, that was amazing. I thought we were going to lose somebody, but we luckily did not. And we'll take all of this. We're going to pick an item. Wow. These are orange. Um, oh, jeez. I kind of... Oof. Let's go with the Titan Slayer, and then choose Reward. Um, Reroll passives, swap passives, or recruit a hero. And this gives us four ranks. So I'm going to do this because, um, you know. Cursed Blades, Vampire Heart, Chaos Bolt, Dragon Wrath, Offensive Wisdom... So this is a hybrid damage dealer, caster, caster. Uh, we'll choose you, and then we got a bunch of stuff that we can use as a rank. Increase, so I'm going to... Uh, now, I can't... I don't know if they fully heal, you know what I mean? So if they don't fully heal, then maybe I need to swap people out because they're taking all kinds of damage. I'm not sure. I'm going to um, go ahead and rank up my healer, though. 
and uh, yeah, we'll go overheat shield just to keep her alive, and then I'm gonna keep ranking up this guy. They're almost there. Uh, okay, proceed, I suppose, and then I am gonna go through this elite. Okay, um, physical damage is done through auto attacks. It could be increased by attack damage, critical strikes, and bleed. Spell damage is done through active abilities. It can be increased with spell power. Ethereal damage is done through items and effects. Oh, okay. Um, no, everybody does heal full at the end of the fight. Okay, good. Alright, so this is the big boy up here. So what we want is... Uh, I'm going to... Oh, you can use five people. I just wasn't counting right. They're, okay, I'm going to put this guy up in the front. This guy in the back. She goes in the back. Then, yep, this guy is here, and then this guy is here. So everybody's focused on our tank, and let's go. All right, she is healing us, but we're taking a ton of damage. Our main DPS guy got wrecked right there, unfortunately. We're going to win, but our dude did die. And he comes back. And he, oh, he did level up, though. Okay, um, 15% crit chance, attack damage, or mana regen. We're going to go with attack damage. It's an attribute increase there. Uh, we're going to get this. Um, I think maybe I got lesser rewards because somebody died. I'm going to re-roll these just to do the tutorial thing. Um, ooh. I actually like that. And then... Yeah, okay. So let me see. Do I have anything I want to forge? I sure do. So we're going to forge this... Um, all summons gain 12% attack speed. This is for our water elemental dude. And we'll give him this as well. And then this gives the life steal. So we're going to just forge these together like that. Um, oops, I think I meant to do that differently. Anyway. Um, so, big boy, you need... Uh, this, because you summon stuff, and then I'm going to give him lifesteal, and I'm going to give this guy the boots, extra hit points, and let's go, oh, no, no, um, I forgot to pick a relic, how about that? Uh, let's see. All heroes gain ethereal amplification. Let's do the mana vial. I like that. Um, and then now proceed. Alright, so we're going to go... I want to go through the campfire. Just to complete tutorial stuff. Okay, um... At this point, there's a big guy over here and there's a bunch of bats. Oh, and then there's this jerk over here. Oh, nowhere is safe. Is nothing sacred? Okay, we move the healer here. So let's do it like this. You come over here. And you come over here. Okay, so I have my tanks on the big guys we're gonna try to work these down with this dude let's see this should this guy should annihilate these dudes yeah he's just doing so much damage there we go crushed it fantastic all right ooh
Critical strikes done by any hero inflict a bleed on all enemies. Wow. Um, I'm going to re-roll a passive. Uh, I'll just try this, and I can change it for... I guess I'll try that. I don't know. Um, I'm not huge into that, but whatever. Do I want to rank anybody up? I can rank this guy up. Oh, interesting. Spell shield is great. Yeah, that helps us survive. I like it. Uh, I have a trophy left. Is anybody close to leveling? No. All right. Uh, we're going to do the campfire. And get an origin. Origins are global and permanent team buffs or effects. Picking and swapping an origin is free. Oh, cool. So, look at this. Brawler. All heroes gain attack damage equal to 5% of the team's defense. Um... For every critical strike. No, no, no. Totemic is very good. For every 100 healed, all heroes gain 3% shield. Wow. Um, I'm going to do Totemic. And we can rest. Or we can enchant. For 15. Yeah, we're going to enchant, and I'm going to enchant um, my Orcish Dagger, and it becomes better, and then now we can rest to get the rest of our flame back. Proceed, and let's go fight the boss. Heroes and enemies always target the closest hero, but what about their spells? Some spells have a specific targeting. For instance, cast X on the current target, cast X on the furthest enemy. Um, however, most spells don't have specific targeting, in which case they'll use best targeting. Best targeting will prioritize the highest number of targets with the spell area. That's good. Um, oh, wow. Okay, so it's explaining the targeting. I like that. Tutorial complete. You've successfully completed the tutorial. You can now continue your run. You'll need to beat the bosses of all three acts to win the run. Winning the run on the difficulty will unlock the next one. Don't forget, you can open the guidebook at all times by pressing tab or clicking on this at the bottom right corner. Okay, we got it. All right. So... We're rocking, and this guy uh, is here, and I'm going to put big boy here. Uh, damage here. You can be here. Healer goes over here, and then I'm going to have him face this tank, and let's go. All right, we're in the next stage. He's summoning... Oh, God. This makes it harder. Okay, so this people are getting summoned. So my poor caster is by himself. This is something I just didn't understand about the game. But, like, I was thinking he'd be safe over here. But, no, these little guys get summoned. But we're wrecking that boss anyway. So we get 12... I mean, we get full flame. So now that I know you get full flame at the end of the first boss, I should have just upgraded two items. And not worried about it. Recruit a hero. Um, Alright, this guy, sure. You've reached a maximum heroes. Oh, okay, we don't need one then. Pick an item. Um, uh, Darko's Blade seems pretty good. Pick a relic. Wow. When everybody survives, you get 60% more money. Magic Marbles is interesting. I'm going to go with the Golden Cube and just try to make our people survive. 
And uh, in order to do that, we need to rank some folk up. So I'm going to rank up this guy. And you will get uh, always mana regen. Let's rank you up. Um, I like when, you know, you survive. So I'm going to give you defense. And then... Good, good, good. Uh, our healer is getting close. I'm going to level the healer up. Uh, I guess max hit points. And then let's just keep working on uh, just kind of leveling out my field. All right, great. Proceed. Act two. All right. Petrofi Desert. Okay. So we want to prioritize shops. So here's one because of what we have. Campfires are fantastic. And elites also. So I might go here and then up to here. All right, let's rock and roll. Oh my goodness, look at this guy. Okay, it just got a lot harder. All right. But there's only one bad guy. Okay, well, then that's helpful. All right, so this guy goes here. Yep, I actually like this configuration. I'm just going to make sure he's focusing on this dude by the way you this is the rage counter you can change the fight speed too if you want these to go faster I'm new so I'm fine just watching it at normal speed like this crushed it um, yep look at this so we got 60% more money so we're getting 60% more money and then we have a 30% shop reduction which is just fantastic uh, mm, these are good. I'm going to re-roll. Uh, eh, I'm not huge into these, but uh, okay. And then I'm going to push shift. Okay, uh, let's see. So who... You can have this just to help you out. And then the healer, I'm going to give you this. Great. You could see, like, how much heal she does. So she did 159 healing right there. This this guy actually did 87 healing with the lifesteal. Okay, so all the bad guys are in the back row. So you, yes, definitely go here. You then go here, and then we need you over here. Um, I'm going to put you and you in the middle, and then we put you last so they focus on you, and let's go. That was a perfect... Uh, reach out. So Totem is popping off. So this is a very good um, story or origin or whatever for the cube that we have because we're just getting so much extra money keeping everybody alive with that heal. Uh, we'll take this, pick an item. Oh, yeah. Um, I'll take that. And let's see, we can level some people up. I'm going to try to rank up my, this guy. Yeah, okay. Uh, interestingly, he gets lifesteal, attack damage, critical strike. We'll give you some lifesteal, that's fine. And then... Uh, we have some items... Oh, no, I have to forge these things. That's right. I keep forgetting. Okay. So this is... Uh, we're going to forge this with this. And then... Uh, we're going to forge these together. And then... I'm uh, going to forge these together. All right. So now... Uh, you get this, you get 
this. And then you can have this. Okay, so we're consolidating our items. Proceed. All right, we can shop. So we have a ton of money, and we get a discount. So what we're going to do is, uh, let's see, what is this? Ooh, lose 60 hit points per second. That's brutal. I like it. Okay, that's very good. We'll buy that. Um, that looks good, too. We can buy this. We can buy uh, this. Sweet. I'm also going to just buy some regular garbage. Just for forging purposes. Alright, so I'm going to forge this spell blade um, right here. And I'm going to forge this up like that. Alright, and then now um, I can look at my heroes and I can see what who has what. So this would do... 280 max HP and then damage and then so this is going to go on somebody who is up front and is fighting like this that's fine and then this um, we put on this dude and then uh, let's see let's also give this guy some extra health and I'll give you this just to critically strike, just in case it can work on your heals. I don't know if it actually does, but we're going to pretend it will. I'm going to go proceed, and we're going to go here. All right, and um, I don't know if I'm allowed to rank up on this screen. You can. Okay, great. All right, so there's a bunch of people over here and over here. So I'm going to put you on the bottom area. And then you and you on the top area. So we kind of have our tanks divided and our support people in the middle. And you could see we're just healing right through it. I went to the max speed right there. That guy had some kind of regeneration or something, but we still wrecked it. Honestly, on that fight, because of the AoE, this Zog did the most damage. Or maybe it was his... Well, I don't know what happened, but hey, worked out great. And we'll take this, and we get extra money, and we'll pick an item. Um, heal all summons. Yes. Okay, proceed. We're going to go here. All the baddies are over here. So we just put you here. You go in the back. Uh, you go right up front. Go. All right. He got a rage counter. So that... The rage counter is scary because, like, it means I'm not doing damage fast enough. Uh, we'll take this. We'll pick an item. Uh, these are terrible. Oof. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to forge. I can... Forge this and... Put on uh, that, I guess. So this guy does. It's this guy who does the summons, right? Okay. 
So what we want to do then is swap out um, this one and then give this guy this one. Okay. And then we're close. We can rank up him. I mean, Vampiric Instinct is pretty sweet. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Everybody has three items. Proceed. All right. I actually... I'm going to take the fire instead of the shop. Because this allows me to pick a new origin. Um, oh, 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 wait a minute. No, you can only have one origin. All right, so we don't want that. Um... So I'm going to just go ahead and upgrade some stuff. I'm focusing on damage. Alright, so there's the big boys up there. You got to go up front. Go. Mushroom guy's in there. Fantastic. Take that. Pick an item. And... I don't know why it keeps... Oh, oh. I was wondering. I was like, what's wrong with having max mana? No, no, no. That's right. That means it takes longer for your stuff to recharge if you have higher mana. Um, Realm shield sounds good. Proceed. Go here. All right, so there's guys on both sides, so we're going to have to, you know, divide and conquer. Uh, I will put this guy here. You here. Um, you can go here, but I want them to target this guy. And then um, my healer in the middle there. Okay. Uh, let's see. Can I level anybody up? this fight. Let's see if I have enough to almost get that guy up. Alright, let's go. There we go. Now, once we get all the summons down... These Zog and Zico are just taking care of business. Uh, we'll recruit a hero, I guess. So, we can't really recruit a hero, but we did get the extra trophies, which is really all I cared about. And then, um, every four seconds, the hero heals the lowest... Hit point hero. I mean, that's so good. No, this is good. Freezing attacks. I'll take it. I think I have enough healing. Okay, and then let's see. Let me spend the rest of my trophies on you. Almost got you up. Okay. Forge this together with this. So this, um, so like this guy right here, you can just wear this. I'm actually going to do it like that. Okay. And proceed. And here we go in an elite fight. Oh, God. Look at that big boy. It's just one big boy. All right. Interesting. So... We're going to drop you over here, and then you up here, and then I want them targeting away. Okay, go. Okay. 
Uh-oh. He's coming at my caster. <laughs> he didn't like how much damage Zog was doing. He was like, Zog, I hate you. Okay, um, fantastic. So he ranked up. I think what we're going to do is just go for electric attacks. Um, and then... Ah... Champion's helmet seems good. Oh, God. All heroes gain 50% healing? Yes. Alright, let's go. Um, I don't know what this is down here. That's scary. What is this? This is the slime god. This is something, but it might just be part of the stage, and I can't do anything to it. So, anyway... Um, let's stay away from that. I'm gonna put you here. Uh, you. No, 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 not this item. You just go over here. And then you can go way back here, and you can go way back here. Uh. I don't need a forge right now. Let's go. I knew they were gonna do something like make slimes. That's okay. Like, we were able to get our support people way out of that, so we should be fine. Look at our healing. It's so good. Heal it. They're coming after Zog. They don't like Zog at all. The AoE damage Zog is doing is brutal. Oh, that was easy peasy. So much healing. I mean, we're on novice difficulty, granted. Okay, so let's refill it. Uh, some of these look cool, but I'm okay with my heroes. Pick an item. Ooh, wow. Whoa. Yeah. Steel armor. Love it. All right. Um, we have a bunch of trophies. So let's level up Zog. I mean, he's doing the most damage anyway. Um, uh, I think Ether Shield is fine. So he's got a huge shield going. And then... Uh, let me get my healer up to fourth level. Wow. Um, I like defensive wall to keep the healer alive. Proceed. It is time for Act 3. The Aether Dungeon. Alright. So we're going for it. I think I definitely want... Uh, I'm going to take a light path over here through the shop and see how it goes. Oh boy. That's a large individual. Okay, so this... Let me see what is equipped on Zog. No, no, no. Um... This isn't that great, actually, on somebody who's not in the front rank. Yeah, I'm going to do this and this. And then I'm going to give this guy this staff. Just to put down those, you know, spikes or whatever. Uh, okay, so... You're going to be here. You're going to be here. Uh, I actually like this a lot, but I'm going to just focus you over here. And let's go. Mm, I probably put my healer too far away. I thought they would move in. That was my mistake. We do so much damage that it's okay. Look at that. You can see the staff going off. The frost damage coming out. 
It's fantastic. All right. Take it. Take that. And nice. Shielder's Cloak is actually good for um, Zog. But Zog has all, like, sweet stuff. So she might want that eventually. Um, we've got some awards to distribute. I think what we want to do is just keep pumping our main damage dealer and proceed. Let's go here. And they're all on this side. So we put our primary damage dealer, this one, and like this. Oop. Uh, here. Go right there. Let's go. So she's able to heal him. Glorious. Ah, uh, these are bad. So when you re-roll, it's not like you're getting... Um, a different tier of item. All right. Okay. I forged those up. And then, does anybody have anything that's just not very good? She does. She has two, some bad stuff. So, uh, I don't need her to heal, though. This gives her a boost on spell power. Yeah, this is just ostensibly better than that. Okay. So we'll proceed, and we'll go to the shop. I think you can, like, dismantle stuff. So, oh, but you can't dismantle your bad stuff, can you? Can I sell this? Apparently not. Looks like you can have two rows, though. Okay, that's good. All right, so all I'm doing is looking at these legendary stuff. <laughs> that's so good. All right, cool. All right, so I'm going to go to the forge screen. And I can make uh, this golden armor. Like this. And this crown of life like that. And then what I'm going to do is go to the hero screen. And so, for example big boy here this is not that great right but this um he's got the most hit points so the fact that he's going to heal everybody is insane and this would help put this keep this guy alive um i'm going to give him this to just give him a big shield and see how that goes okay we're going to uh, go back, and we're going to proceed. And here we go. So we're fighting a starred fight against Big Boy. All right, so what we want to make sure that we do is... I'm going to put my... I'm going to do it like this, and I'm going to put this guy last. So that the guy is within range of getting healed. So you can see there's a lot of damage going on, but... The crown of life is just going off, healing everybody. This guy put up a shield now. And at this point, it's just over. Like, look at the shield he's got. By the end of the fight, it's so good. All right. Um, get that. Pick an item. Ooh. Fossil ring is pretty sweet if they don't take damage. I like that. And uh, I'm just going to gain this stuff. I'm not going to recruit anybody. And now we can level up right here. And say, what do you want? Well, uh, I'm going to get critical strike chance. That's kind of gross. And then Zog, 
would be my next choice. Although this is pretty good, but... Um, yeah, let's get this guy up. He's closer, so it's more possible that we actually achieve it. We didn't. And now I feel bad, but let's go. Alright, so there's boys on both sides. Okay, so all we need to do is drop you over here. You in the middle. You in the middle. You up here. And then you right there. Go. Sweet. Uh, yeah. Boo. Oh, the Jade Dagger is kind of interesting. Okay. Um. I don't. At this point, I want the fire, pretty badly for um enchant. So, some of my stuff like, this is pretty sick go for it, boost it, enchant, and then, uh, yeah, there you go, alright, we're gonna go, uh, I've never done an event, so that might be interesting to see, okay, so in this situation, um, I'm gonna drop my healer down here, and Zog over here, and then we'll put, DPS guy here is fine, you can go there, and then you um, can go here. I didn't mean to put DPS man on an island, but he makes such a big shield that it should be okay. So we hit a rage t timer. And here we go. Alright. Proceed. Let's check this event. The duel. A mysterious foe appears from the boy. He wants to challenge your best and most courageous hero. Um, yeah, we'll fight. So... Does that mean, like, all of us get to fight? Or I can only pick one? I'm not really sure how this goes. Uh, only the closest hero. Okay, yeah. Go for it. This guy has so many shields, I think we can be okay. You can see he's generating shields. He's healing himself. Got it. So we get a legendary. The default passive of all heroes. That's hilarious. Omni crit. Wow. That's pretty sweet. Okay. Um, now let's see. Who's close to... Who do we want to raise up next? Zog. Spend all trophies on Zog. So close. Okay. And then we fight these elites. Ooh, big dudes. All right. Three of them. Yikes. Okay. So, in this situation, we put you here, and we put you here, and I'm going to put my healer and Zog over here. Okay. Got it. All right, he ranked up, which is what we wanted, and uh, I'm just going to go with mana regen. It's so nice. Uh, 
okay, that's fine. Oh, a relic. Um. Oh my goodness. Duplicate one of your relics? I'm going to be duplicating um, the Tome of Healing so that we just... There's... This will be so much healing, we should be fine. Let's go. Alright, so we gotta fight the Slaying Queen. Okay. So we're gonna put this dude up here. Uh, you can go over here. The healer can go up here. Then DPS guy, I'll put you down here. You here. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do it like this. Just to get everybody in range, I suspect that there's going to be guys summoned down here, but we should be okay. Oh, somebody summoned back here on top of us. That's a shame. We're healing through it, though. Like, there's a bunch of enemies back here, but you can see the boss is getting wrecked. And that everybody just keeps healing up. Like, our health bars are fine. Zog is just dominating. So much damage. Got it. Yes. So we we finished it. And uh, we got 100% progress. We got one unlock. And we wrecked it. What's the unlock? Oh, okay. Um, so we unlocked these two heroes. All of these items. Oh, wait. Do we pick one? No, we get all of this stuff. So all of these will be added to future runs, which is sweet. And we've un unlocked the Wild Flame uh, Megalodon. Awesome. Well, that was our first full run of The Last Flame. And I'd love to know what you think of the game seeing it so far. Remember, you can go check it out on Steam. I'm going to put a link in the description below so you can wishlist this if this is your type of thing. Check in on updates as the game continues to evolve. But to be honest, I thought it was super polished. I enjoyed the game. I liked the strategy. I love that it's kind of like Slay the Spire roguelike. But then, you know, the auto battler mix, you're leveling things up, you're positioning, you've got that tactical combat. And I had a great time with it. So tell me what you think, what your impressions are in the comments below. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. Take care.